excited. So, you know I love a soap, right? So, we all are excited to find out which of the six of the EastEnders ladies this dog. So, we're going to find out, surprisingly, on Christmas Day. p.m. and Noah has gone to bed quite a little bit earlier tonight. Um, he had a super short nap today and he was just so ready for bed, he was so tired and I thought I'm going to take full advantage of this early bedtime because usually by the time we've got him to bed and stuff and got ready for bed ourselves it's like eight o'clock so I thought let's start my evening at you know 6 30 today and have like a nice cozy festive pamper evening um so plans are i've just run myself a lovely bubble bath gonna have a bath do my skincare get into my pjs and then me and jamie are actually gonna have a little christmas cheese board it's cheese board season december means you can have a cheese board after dinner every single night okay yeah really looking forward to this evening i thought we could spend it together um, I've just realised something. I have put this dressing gown on without shaking it. I, it's like my, my ritual, right? Before I put a towel or a dressing gown on my body, it will be vigorously shaken. For one reason and one reason only, spiders love dressing gowns and towels. And the thought of putting one on and they're just... There being one on, I just have to shake them and I've just realised I've not done this with this dressing gown and it's making me, whew, it's making me nervous. So in my bath I'm going to use a little festive bath form, my mum got me this the other day, but I love it, but it's the Sleepy Bear bath bomb and we all know I can't use this one. <laughs> I think I actually have, oh my goodness I do, <gasps> I have a hoard of polar bear bath bombs that I can't use. There's just something about them melting into the bath that just makes me feel sad. <laughs> Look, these are from like probably last year and the year before. I just can't. They're just too cute. Like the thought of it just melting into just nothing and then me laying in it upset but I'm feeling like I should probably just get over that like Gemma you're not a child you have a child now you don't need to be upset about a bath bomb basically oh look at his face all right we're gonna put him in the bath guys it's that time it's time to 2024 is the year to get over our pathetic hang-ups and this is one of them. In the bath, he goes. Here he goes. That was the loveliest bath. I've just popped on some fresh pajamas. Oh, is there any, there's just no better feeling than that, is there? Like, lovely soak in the bath, fresh pyjamas ready for bed. It's just the nicest feeling ever. I also started watching this really cute Christmas film on Netflix. It's one of the new ones. I feel like they bring out like such good ones each year. It was called B&B Merry. Um, and it was just such a feel good, cheesy, just easy to watch Christmas film. I only watched a little bit of it, I'll probably watch the rest of that later. So for my evening skincare routine, I have already like cleansed and everything before I got in the bath, but my next step is my personalized skincare treatment from Skin and Me. You guys have heard me speak about this a bunch of times. I'm using this now for the past year 
and I absolutely love it. It is an essential part of my nighttime skincare routine. First, if you haven't tried Skin and Me before, I have an amazing discount code for you guys. And you can actually try your very own personalized skin treatment in a daily doser for only $4.99 using my code GemmaL129. I'll leave a direct link down below. But the reason Skin and Me Daily Doser is so amazing is, like I said, skin treatment is completely tailored to you, your skin type, and your skin goals. I feel like skincare recommendations are tricky because everyone's skin is so different and what might work for one person might not necessarily work for you and it's just nice to know that you're going to have something that is definitely going to help you reach your skin goals. All you need to do to get one of these is click on the link down below, use my discount code to get it before 99 and you need to fill out a short consultation which will ask you some questions about your skin you'll send some pictures of your skin and this will put together your skin treatment and they'll send it through your letterbox it's so easy it's to be able to do it from the comfort of your own home instead of having to wait to go and see a dermatologist i just think it's so easy and convenient okay so it looks like this it's even personalized with your name which i just think is so cute and then all you do is twist like this until you hear a click and that is your recommended amount of product to you so there's no product waste you know exactly how much your skin needs then because skin and me is a monthly subscription when you're near the end of your daily doser a new one will come through the post my skin goals are hydration always i have dry skin and i'm always like wanting really hydrated skin so hydration is number one and then also to tackle my fine lines and wrinkles, which I, which I seem to have got a lot more of since becoming a mum. Um, but honestly, since using this, my skin has never looked better, like over the past year. The main thing I notice is how much smoother and tighter it feels. Um, and I think it just feels more hydrated just everything feels a bit more lifted and just the overall appearance of my skin like with breakouts with texture um, with pigmentation it just looks so much better overall like i said there'll be a direct link down below waiting for you guys i'll put my discount code on screen which means you can get your first daily dose of 4.99 yeah that is my nighttime skincare done i'm just going to pop on a tiny little bit of moisturizer on the top so your skin and me skincare treatment goes on before your moisturizer so after you cleanse before your moisturizer and it will just do its thing overnight time and this is quite the ultimate cheese board i wanted to show you guys some of my favorite things to pop on a christmas cheese board so starting with cheese the most important thing i've gone for extra creamy brie brie is one of my favorite cheeses i just absolutely love it brie and cranberry so good then i've gone for a Wensleydale and Cranberry, again, one of my favourites. I feel like I only really have this at Christmas, so it's something I look forward to each year. Then, a little bit of wild card. I got Wensleydale and Apricot because I just love cheese and something sweet. Like, sometimes as a snack, I will have, like, a chunk of cheese and an apple, and I'll take a bite of apple and a bite of cheese. I just I love that kind of, like, tangy fruity concoction i just think it's so yum <clears throat> what is going on with my voice <clears throat> then for fruit i like to have quite a lot of fruit on the cheese board like i've just said i like the cheese fruit combo so we've gone for grapes always a nice juicy pink lady apple now i would usually put pear on there today but pear is always a nice one to have on there then two things that i feel like are a cheese board essential even if you don't eat them and they are just for like a little bit of festive decoration some fresh figs these cut in half just look so pretty on your cheese board and they also are amazing with the cheese so fresh figs and some pomegranate seeds to scatter everything when you're done 
Then I got an Italian inspired meat selection. So I've got some parma ham, some salami in there. I just think, again, this is a cheese board must for me. Then for crackers, I've just gone for a carts selection. You can't go wrong with these. My favorite is the, you know, the digestive. I could just have them, to be honest, just all digestives. Again, it's the sweet and savory, I love the mix. Um, but I love the cheesy one in here and also the poppy and sesame. I love that they're all different flavors so you can really mix and match everything on your cheese board. Chutneys, mustn't forget a good chutney. I love just a standard cranberry sauce to go with the brie. And then, this is one of the best chutneys I've ever had. It's a fig chutney. If you ever see one of these, they usually are like in farm shops and stuff. They're amazing. This is such a great, just all rounder cheese board chutney. Some, these were honey roast nuts, but Jamie's already eaten half the packet and then stuck some Girl of Muse duct tape on there. So nuts are another great thing to have in your cheese board. And then something that I feel like just, this isn't edible. This is like purely for Christmas decoration. Thyme, some fresh thyme. Not only does it just make your cheese board smell amazing. Smells so festive. It also looks really pretty. And you can like, you could even make, I've seen which look amazing on a round board. You could make a cheese board wreath. So you could make the wreath out of the time and simply just put it around the edge of your round shopping board and then pop everything else like round in a circle. I think could look really cool. So yeah, fresh time is a must on a Christmas cheese board. Um, I've also got these little ramekins for the chutneys, which I'm gonna pop on the board around the cheese. And then the last thing I actually picked up for this cheese board is some natural honeycomb. Apparently this is really good with the brie. So I'm gonna cut a few like thin slices of this. I do love like honey and cheese as well. It's the sweet and savory thing again. But I'm gonna cut a few slices of this and have this on the cheese board. I think it's gonna be so good. I've never actually tried raw honeycomb. I'm guessing it just, oh, it's very sticky. Why is it so sticky when it's not been opened? And I hate sticky. Hey, that was literally like some kind of bush tucker trial, trying to get into this. Everything is sticky, but oh my goodness, look at this. Cannot wait to try it. Let's cut a little bit. Oh, is it going to be? Oh, it's quite hard. Oh my god, I'm nervous. Why am I nervous? Okay, so this is what it looks like. Let's try it. Okay, it smells just like honey. <laughs> delicious i was expecting it to be like quite crunchy but it's like super soft i actually feel like i'm gonna dribble it's really soft and really sweet and almost like a little bit chewy oh my goodness that is delicious it's gonna be amazing with cheese the official taste tester's here he's been desperate to try this honeycomb <laughs> please don't drop it everywhere jamie's so clumsy with stuff guys i've been desperate to try it. you've been so excited to try it is this directly out of the bee's hive I think so. What are, you, what are your expectations here? Well, I just said, is this honestly, like directly? I think so. Honey? Yeah, like it's raw honeycomb. Nothing's been done to it. I don't know though. Any beekeepers out there, let me know. <gasps> here he goes. That was my exact reaction. <laughs> I was quite shocked. Tell us. Chewy. Yes. Mm. Nice though. So good. Like nicer than normal honey. Very sweet. Mmm. Almost like a waxy texture. Yeah. Do you like it? It's to be crunchy. I said the exact same thing. But we're thinking of like honeycomb, I think. This is raw honeycomb. I'm not too keen on that bit that's like that. Oh, okay. We're just, we're just taking that out. Okay, please don't put that back in the packet. <laughs> no, okay. I'll go to cut some honeycomb and they'll just be you, like... What do you think of that bit? Recommend raw honeycomb to a friend. I'm glad I tried it. It's not something I would buy. <laughs> I think it was like £10. Yeah. But honey is expensive though. Like yeah. 
He's not, he's not swayed, guys. I think he's just gonna stick to runny honey. It's, it, no, it was nice, but I did expect that to be crunchy. Yeah, same. It's like chewing wax filled with Here it is, our ultimate Christmas cheese board for two, <laughs> which looks like it's for about 10 people. That's what Christmas cheese board's all about, guys. Eating for 10. Christmas tree this morning. Good morning my loves. It is now Monday morning. It's about 9.30. We have just done the nursery run. Just got back and I've made myself a nice big coffee because my plans are this morning. I want to have a little bit of a Christmas speed clean. I'm going to set an hour's timer and basically just see how much I can get done off my to-do list. That is my biggest, biggest cleaning tip um because i feel like sometimes i i personally need a lot of motivation to kind of like get going with cleaning and if i have an hour's timer set and i'm racing against the clock it makes me so much more productive and motivated and i almost want to like see how much i can get done before my alarm goes off um so that's what i'm gonna do i've also got sorry tilly that made you jump didn't it are you waiting for the tap of course you are I only drink fresh, premium water out the tap. She literally will not drink out of her bowl now. Teddy drinks out of the water bowl. Tilly will only drink out of the tap. I um, also wanted to say, you guys may have seen my, well, Teddy's, who's up there, Teddy's Day in the Life over on TikTok. If you haven't seen it, I'll link it down below, but I'm so happy you guys loved it. Um, it was actually a ad with Dreamies, which is just craziness. And it was one of my favorite things ever to film. So I think I'm gonna do more of those. Um, but anyway, little cleaning product haul because stuff like this makes me happy. I got the Winter Indulgence anti back so I'll probably use that in the kitchen. We're gonna kind of like do a kitchen clean. I wanna strip the beds get them nice and clean so do like a big laundry load um the playroom needs a tidy and a little bit of a freshen up and the living room so we're going to kind of like focus on downstairs today and then i'll do the upstairs another day then i got winter indulgence oh vanilla and oud oh, you guys know i love vanilla and oud are probably my two favorite scents um this is some liquid detergent scrub mommy christmas tree edition then I've got some Nusiflora's. Oh, which one should we use today? Winter Spice or Cranberry and Orange? It's going to be Cranberry and Orange. That just makes me feel Christmassy. So we'll use some of that. And then the last thing I got, well, last two things. I got a vanilla cookie plug-in. I'm excited to use that. And some Winter Spice wipes. I love the Zoflora wipes. I always have some of these. Um, I always get them in B&M because they're like a pound, whereas if you get them from a supermarket, they're like three pounds. Um, so we always have these, I just find them convenient, like especially after cooking, just to give the worktops a nice clear. So let's set an hour's timer up on a Christmas music playlist because I'm in the mood. We're like midway through December now. It's just feeling so Christmassy. And I feel like I like to have either music on when I'm cleaning, a podcast I also really like, 
or even like a TV program or a film or something. It makes time go quicker um, and it really gets me in the cleaning zone. So yeah, I'm gonna pop on a Christmas playlist and let's get cleaning. Okay, I know all of you guys probably already know the Zoflora hack, but I just wanted to share in case you don't and you have people coming over over the festive period and you want your house to just smell like true Christmas really quickly. All you need to do is add a few capfuls of your favorite Zoflora into your sink. Make sure that your plug is in because I usually just tip it down the sink and I'm like, oh, where did that go? So I usually do two capfuls and then fill up your sink with boiling water. Hot water also works, but boiling water just works so much better. And you see all this steam? This will make your house smell like what I would imagine Santa's Grotto to smell like. And you just leave it in there. You usually leave it in there for about an hour or however long I'm cleaning for. And oh my goodness, the whole house smells so good. And then when it's cooled down, you can actually use the Zoflora water to clean like your kitchen cupboards, doors, um, anywhere really. And it will just make it smell amazing. The kitchen is feeling lovely and clean. I just wanted to show you guys a few new little Christmas additions which I've added. So I added this wreath here which looks so cute. It's kind of bothering me that it's a little bit off center. So I need to sort that out, but I just popped a little command hook under the cooker hood. And then Jamie had the idea of adding string because originally it was up here, but it was just way too high. So we added some string and I just think it looks so cute. And then when we went to do our food shop the other day in Tesco, I found this really cute little real tree and I just love it on here. I love like the greenery from that and that I think it just looks so nice. in the coffee table and I could hear this like snoring. I thought, what on earth is that? And then I realized there was a Tilly cat asleep under the coffee table. Is this your new sleeping place? <sighs> it's the best feeling, isn't it? A productive hour the best feeling okay so my time went off about 10 minutes ago i have got a lot ticked off my to-do list my like cleaning to-do list which i kind of like make throughout the week and then when i have a child free day and obviously noah's at nursery i can kind of like work on that to-do list i find 
if on the days like Noah's at nursery, I am productive and get stuff done that I can't necessarily do when he's at home, cleaning is definitely one of those because I just feel like with cleaning, I need to get fully in the zone. Um, otherwise, just nothing gets done. And I feel like if I spend my time wisely on the days that Noah's at nursery and kind of like get things done that would almost like overwhelm me in the week, I feel like the days that Noah is at home and the days that we go out and do stuff, I can be fully, fully present with him and not feel overwhelmed and not have that feeling of like, oh, I've got so much to do. Um, so that's something I've really, really been getting in the habit of doing, especially on a Monday. Monday is usually my day where I kind of like get the stuff done that I can't necessarily do when Noah's at home. So cleaning is done. The house smells so Christmassy. The Zoflora in the sink makes my heart happy. I am old, I'm very aware. Um, I just, oh, there's nothing, there's no better feeling than a clean home. So plans for this afternoon are, I'm actually going to meet my mum in town for a coffee and a little bit of Christmas shopping. I'm so behind on my Christmas shopping this year, which is so unlike me. Usually I'm pretty sorted around the beginning of December, but I just feel like I've got so much to get still. Um, main thing I'd like to get sorted today is Noah's stocking and Noah's Christmas Eve box. And then obviously I do my mama stocking every year. So we'll probably go our separate ways and I can get mum some bits. Um, the rest of the things that I have in mind, I can buy online. So I'm thinking today's job is Christmas stocking stuff because I feel like that's always nice to be able to like find in the shops, find little cute quirky bits. So <sighs> I'm gonna catch my breath. Feel like I'm talking at about a million miles per hour because I've been in cleaning mode. Um, freshen up and then I'm gonna go and meet mum and do some Christmas shopping. shopping trip which was very very successful i found the cutest bits for noah's stocking and christmas eve box um and then also i got some really lovely bits for my mum's stocking i got some really nice gift wrap and a few bits from primark i thought i could share with you a little christmas gift haul so grab yourselves a nice drink get comfy because i've got quite a lot of stuff to show you okay let's start with noah's bits so Something I picked up online actually, which came yesterday, which I just have to show you guys. And I think this is gonna be for Noah's Christmas Eve box is, this is just the cutest thing ever. This little pajama set. No, sorry. Is this actually Santa's pajamas as a baby? How gorgeous. I just love the velvet. Oh love them and also a christmas hat because how could i not and i thought every year we could put this in the christmas eve box these are from zara home i cannot wait to see him in these on christmas eve and also for noah's christmas eve box i picked up a christmasy book he loves these we've got a couple of these um the tales from acorn wood they're like flat books they are so sweet and yeah, he loves a flat book at the moment. And this is Squirrel Snowman. And also for Noah's Christmas Eve box, I'm thinking of getting like some Christmassy bath bits. So maybe like a Christmas bubble bath and maybe some 
like festive bath toys for his Christmas Eve bath. I thought that could kind of be like a tradition that we do every year. And I also got him this little Santa beaker that you can have his milk in and this cute little festive cutlery set. So these are all the bits that I got for the Christmas Eve box. And stocking stuff, I'm just gonna quickly run through these. I got a pair of dinosaur cozy socks, so cute. And these are from Next. Then a couple of bits that I got from the garden centre last week. We went to Knot Cuts and I got picked up a few bits. I got him a Christmas muslin square. Noah is still obsessed with his muzzies. Like he has one all the time and it's just so cute. Like he walks around with one in his mouth. Um, so I thought I'd get him a little Christmas one. It's got little reindeers and Christmas trees on. And then I got him a Kinder Santa. He will be, this will probably be his favorite thing <laughs> because when we were in Knot Cuts, we actually went with Noah last weekend. Me and mum were walking around and he grabbed this off the shelf and I had to prize it out of his hands and I thought okay that can go in your stocking so I got him one of these and then I got him this which I just thought would be like quite a fun little present even though that is definitely not going to fit his tiny little head um but he loves glasses he loves my mum's glasses he actually <laughs> broke them a few weeks ago but I thought he'd enjoy just messing around with this then I got these from Amazon which I thought were cool little stocking fillers. And they're like the little, they're actually very satisfying. Like Noah's got a little um, one that's called Quick Game. And I love playing it. Like it's so satisfying. You just pop all the poppers in. So I got my little Santa one, Christmas tree one, Christmas stickers, chocolate coins. Chocolate coins are a stocking must. <laughs> These remind me of my childhood so much. And then I got a little Santa Tupperware. He loves a Tupperware like he loves to have like some grapes or like some apple slices in a Tupperware and just take them out put them in put the lid off put the lid on take the lid off put them in take them out it's literally his favorite game and then I got him a Christmas straw a bit random but I thought it'd be a nice little stocking filler and this which I think he's gonna love and it's like one of those blocks with lots of fiddly bits on so we've got like a little tap Basically everything Noah really wants to play with is on here. All the things he's not supposed to play with. So we've got a tap, a key, of course, with a lock, um, a little twisty thing, a switch. Why do all toddlers love switches? Um, a little like bolt thing here. Just a lot of fun I think he's gonna have with this. All we need on there really is a remote. And what else does he love to? play with a plug socket they're always very tempting to toddlers aren't they okay so they're all the bits i picked up for the baby i think he's gonna absolutely love them he like i said before he's just christmas obsessed he loves christmas trees love the light loves the lights and i think like christmas this year is going to be even more magical than last year i know last year was his first christmas but this year he kind of like knows what's going on a little bit so i just think it's going to be so cute okay couple of other little bits I'm just going to run through quickly um so every year I do my mama's stocking we do each other one it's like one of my favorite Christmas traditions and I just got her a couple of bits for that so I thought this might give you guys some ideas if you're doing like your mama's stocking or your friend a stocking I got some nice little bits so first of all just a couple of a couple of randoms got some little hair clips from Accessorize I got this which I know she's gonna love a little jingly Christmas tree and then I got some more bits from Accessorize because she loves my mum loves her hair accessories how gorgeous are these so we've got these hair bubbles I actually really want those <laughs> and these little satin ones and then these little reindeer clips which I know she's gonna love and probably wear on Christmas Day so they're for the stocking and then from Lush I picked up some sleepy shower gel, also for the stocking. Sleepy body lotion. And what else did I get? Oh, I had to get this. This was a till purchase. They always get you with the tills, don't they? I saw it and I just thought, do you know what? I can't leave you behind. And it is, I'm not gonna get it out, but it's a bouncing Santa. Actually, should we get it out? Or is it gonna go everywhere? 
it's like it reminded me of those alien things do you guys remember those oh it smells gorgeous and when you actually get it out it's like a mold of a santa and it like wobbles <laughs> so cute and it's a shower gel oh is, is she really going to use this or is it just going to sit on the side like my drawer of polar bears we'll see i got her a yankee candle little car scent i think these are always a great little stocking filler they're like five pounds and i just love them they make your car smell amazing got vanilla lime i got her some chocolate coins well actually these are noah's ones because they've got little pictures on each one and i think he'll just love those i went in flying tiger oh my goodness i've not been in that shop for years and it is so cute just such a cute shop for like christmas knickknacks so i picked up these and they're like individual little christmas bags oh, they make the cutest gift wrap i can pop a couple of noah's bits in there some other gifts that i've got for loved ones i just thought they were so cute then i picked up this little santa jute bag i thought this would be good if we're gonna get you know when you get like a bottle of drink and it looks a bit plain on its own I thought in here it could just look really cute with like the top done up I, i'm a sucker for a gift bag i truly am i love gift wrap i got this oh christmas tote bag which again great wrapping it's reusable i've got a lot of reusable wrapping this year i've got a couple of like paper bags but i just think these are really great like everyone in my family keeps their gift bags that they were gifted and then we all kind of like get a rotation of everyone else's bags each year so then also from flying tiger i got this little paper gift bag i got this reindeer one so cute and then two of these adorable gingerbread house ones because i just thought they were so lovely last thing i have to show you guys is i popped into primark it was very chaotic I was going to show you guys what was new in, but honestly, it was just like, it was a lot. <laughs> that was a lot of people. That was a lot of stuff. Um, and I kind of just wanted to get in and out, but I found exactly what I was looking for. So my aim in Primark was to find Noah a Christmas jumper for Christmas Day and to find myself like a festive black, specifically black, a festive black jumper that I could wear just with leggings, but feel a little bit Christmassy. So, I picked up this jumper for myself, which is the jumper that I went in for. I've seen a couple of people with this and I just absolutely love it. Looks like this. How cosy. Just with a pair of black leggings. Black coat. You know, like a super easy throw on outfit, but you still feel a little bit Christmassy. And then, you guys are not ready to see Noah's jumper because it's just, oh my goodness. literally so cute it looks so cute on christmas day we're actually all going over to my mum's on christmas day this year like the whole family i think there's going to be like 15 of us and we've not done that actually oh I, I don't know like i felt really weird that i was about to i was about to say something out loud and then it kind of hit me and i, I wasn't really expecting to feel like i don't know like oh, oh i've gone all flustered i was gonna say the last time we were all at my mum's for christmas was when my dad was alive and then it kind of hit me that he's not alive i don't know i feel like i go through this a lot where i almost forget that he's not here and then i i think things like that or i go to say them so casually and then i'm like oh um, but yeah, we we haven't all been at my mum's since then, um, and we've all kind of said, like, the whole family has said, like, it's really not felt like Christmas Day. Like, we've tried a lot of different things. We kind of thought when my dad passed away that it would be too sad to all be there without him because it would feel really obvious that he's not there. And we've tried a different, a few different things each the, each year, like. You guys know we've had Christmas here the past couple of years and we've tried different things but I think it's always gonna feel very obvious that he's not here do you know what I mean like it feels obvious that he's not here all the time I think especially this time of year I find really hard my dad's favorite time of year he loved Christmas more than me like he was Christmas 
um he loved like he looked forward to christmas day and us all being together so much and i just think every single year i expect it to feel a little bit more normal that he's not here and i'm like, expecting myself to have got used to him not being here a little bit more but i don't know like i just it just doesn't does that make sense i keep waiting to feel like it's it's like i just uh, Oh, I, I, do you know what? I find this so hard to talk about because I, I just, yeah, <laughs> I'm just saying a lot of words. I wish I could speak to you guys more about this because I know there will be so many of you that have been through the same thing and I would love, love, love to be able to help some of you. But honestly, like it, I just find it so hard to think about and talk about especially. And I think that's why... I make myself forget and then I go to say things like earlier when I was going to say oh we haven't been together as a family since my dad was here it hits me that he's not here and I'm like oh but yeah anyway I am very much looking forward to spending Christmas together as a family at my mum's it'll be a really lovely day um but I'm not gonna lie there is a part of me that feels nervous I feel nervous to like walk into my mum's kitchen on Christmas day and like him not be there because we haven't done that. Like I said, like we've tried to create all these new Christmas traditions. So we kind of didn't have to do that. Um, so yeah, I, I am nervous, <laughs> but it's gonna be fine. It's gonna be a lovely day. Um, it's gonna be lovely because like all the kids are gonna be together like my my brother's children and Noah are all good all gonna be together and it's gonna be super sweet i seem to be suddenly illuminated <laughs> by some very lovely evening sun poking through the trees i, I kind of can't see <laughs> i'm kind of a bit blinded yeah plans for now my loves are i'm gonna go pick Noah up from nursery in about leaving about 10 minutes um pick him up and then gonna come home cook some dinner i am making tonight one of my favorites ever hello fresh recipe yeah let's go and pick the baby up and then we'll come back and make some dinner sofa i'm just about to watch the rest of my christmas film that i started yesterday um, since i last saw you guys we picked noah up from nursery we came back had dinner together just done noah's little bedtime routine which oh my goodness guys i just have to tell you we started like proper sleep training um about a week ago now we have been doing sleep training with a company called sleeping bunnies who i've heard so many amazing things about for the past kind of two months i don't know what's happened but noah sleep has gone back to like a newborn baby sleep honestly he can be awake six to eight times <laughs> like it's a lot it's nearly every hour and it's been like that for the past two months um and also he's been like refusing his bedtime it's just been really really hard like a really hard time for us because we felt like it's so it's just so horrible seeing him upset and like i had bed dread i had complete and utter bed dread of like putting him to bed us going to bed because it was just such the night seemed so long um because obviously we were up every single hour we were trying to survive on pretty much zero sleep um, and also Noah was getting like little sleep as well so I just thought okay something's got to change and I do think sleep training like contacting a sleep consultant can be really 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 daunting 
and I know for me it's almost like something that I've known we needed to do for a long time but I've really been holding off because it's just a scary big but yeah we've been working with sleeping bunnies for the past week and oh my goodness he is like a changed little man our bedtime routines like Noah's entire like bedtime routine like after a bath so like winding down with him getting him ready to go in his cot used to take about an hour because he would never want to go in his cot and it would be a case of us putting him in us getting him out rocking him to sleep um sometimes he wouldn't even let you sit down he only wanted you to stand up so you'd have to like stand and rock him and obviously he's a big boy now like he's so heavy and it would just completely take it out of you and then you'd have to like try and sneak him in his cot whilst he was asleep and god forbid you wake him because if you wake him you've got to start that all again so sometimes getting him to sleep would take hours um and we were finding that we were just getting no evening and it just it felt a lot and then he was awake at 9 10 11 12 1 2 3 4 5 6 since we started a new routine with sleeping bunnies and we have introduced new and we've introduced Noah to some new habits Noah has been going down to bed within 10 minutes no crying like he's been almost ready to go to bed he knows he's going in his cot and he seems just so much happier after what feels like forever we feel like we have a little bit of an evening now because no will go down to bed in between half six and seven um and he is pretty much sleeping through we're having a few wake-ups around midnight and three um but i think that's kind of him just getting used to the new the new habits that we've introduced him but yeah honestly i feel like a new woman having some sleep and having a little bit of an evening to unwind because it's been like i said like super challenging with him waking up nearly every hour and trying to survive on no sleep so a really positive thing that's happening and i feel like oh, just i get a little bit of time in the evenings now to like actually wind down instead of just putting him to bed and going straight to bed which is nice so yeah i'm gonna chill out here for a little bit i might make a little hot chocolate in a moment oh white hot chocolate with marshmallows and whipped cream sounds good i'm gonna make that watch the rest of my film and then head up to bed so yeah that is gonna go ahead and conclude today's vlog thank you so much for spending the day with me it has been lovely as always I feel like we've had a really nice productive day today got some cleaning done got the shopping done i'm feeling like a lot more organized with that now i'm actually going to order a few more bits now and try and kind of like tie up my christmas shopping um just wanted to remind you guys as well don't forget about my skin and me discount code i'll pop it on screen and i will leave a link down below directly for skin and me definitely give it a try you guys will absolutely love um and yeah i will catch up with you all really soon night night